Hi, hello, welcome to their episode of Isaiah's Newsstand. It's your host, Isaiah Edwards. The date is April the 5th, 2024. Hopefully this episode finds you well in good spirits and high hopes. As for me, I'm doing pretty good. Uh, today was pretty nice, pretty easy. Uh, you know, I've been enjoying it so far. Uh, let's see, Food Corner from last night. Oh, 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 sorry, my bad. I got ahead of myself. Happy Friday. Happy Friday to you. You got to say it. I got to try to get those in. I, hopefully that energy carries, you know. I know I'm not exactly, I may not sound super excited, but I'm happy. I'm hype. It is a little cold, though. A little nippy. Bit nippy, eh? I, I, I just need spring to really show up and show out, okay? I need it. It's April. I'm done waiting. Uh, but let's see, Food Corner. Uh, I had hamburger, hot dogs, fries, a uh, hot dog, one uh, beef hot dog. The other one was a brat. So there you go. Um, last brat, though, so RIP. Going to miss you guys. Probably going to go back to normal normal wieners. Uh, so there's that. Uh, let me see here. Yeah, we had fries, some onion rings. It was good. It was tasty. Uh, so let's see here. Nothing else to really report on the personal news. So let's go ahead and do our startup. And then we'll go ahead and get into some news, some coverage. All right. First story comes from the Associated Press. Israel dismisses... Two officers over deadly drone strikes on aid workers in Gaza. The Israeli military said Friday that it dismissed two officers and reprimanded three others for their roles in drone strikes in Gaza that killed seven aid workers on a food delivery mission, saying the officers had mishandled critical information and violated the Army's rules of engagement. The findings of a retired general's investigation into the Monday killings marked an embarrassment, embarrassing admission by Israel, which faces growing accusations from key allies, including the United States, of not doing enough to protect Gaza civilians from its war with the militant Hamas groups. I believe um, I've seen some people, you know, sharing like articles and stuff about like, oh, Biden's officially, um, you know, said, hey, there should be an immediate ceasefire in Gaza, which, I mean, hey, it's like six months too late, but better late than never, I guess. But then again, it's it's so toothless, right? Because this is a person who literally could actually start threatening something. Like We can take things away from you. We can withdraw support from you. But instead, y you see him and the administration just hop, skip, jump around, be as vague as possible about what any kind of red line is, what any kind of repercussion is going to be. And um, you just kind of see Israel kind of shrug it off-ish. I mean, this has been the most I've seen Israel kind of react. Uh, but at the same time, I wouldn't say the reaction is any action outside of um, th them actually firing some people. But when we say firing, it's like, yeah, you're done being a colonel. You're done being a major. I think those are the two people um, who they, they let go. But it's like, okay, now you can go what? Go go be in the private sector. Do whatever the fuck you want. Go work at a Cold Stone Creamery. Just get the hell out of here. Like, there's no reprimand. There's no repercussions. These people, talk, like, because of these actions that they're saying from this investigation, th th people died. Literally, people were targeted. Like, that's something I really didn't get into the guts of. I've, I've definitely heard more about it. But it was literally a convoy, you know, and we, we did say – these were marked like you you knew that these were the the, the world you know uh central kitchen or i'm getting the name wrong i'm sorry but you knew what this was and essentially you target this convoy with these strikes one goes down and then like they're literally like there's remaining people like fleeing from their lives and you just continue to target them so you're saying this was an oops a daisy this is an accident no this is very deliberate and the only defense that they are they have is like Oh, we got our wires crossed. We got our information wrong. Like, I, and and you and to hear them squirm throughout the week, going like, "Oh, I mean, you know how it is, right? Like, I mean, this is a war, and like, we thought it was an Hamas truck, and, and and it was grainy footage, actually, and and these are new officers. We just don't know, or they're younger, or whatever. Like, you, you just all the excuses you're hearing here, like." And, and and you see because of the fact that it's like, oh, I mean, these are Americans. These are 
I believe like Polish people, uh, Australian, like these are tied to your allies, people who are supporting you, funding you. And it's like, oh God, like we look so bad here. We got to actually fall on the sword at least a little bit. But this is a little bit that they're doing and it's nothing, you know, it, it just really doesn't amount to anything. Uh, there was something I wanted to kind of push through. World Central Kitchen, I'm sorry. Um, I know I came in fuzzy there. Uh, but I think they're going to be opening, um, at least they're, they're talking about opening some northern border crossings for more aid. Excuse me. But we'll see. I mean, that's talk. We, you know, action speaks a hell of a lot louder than any kind of word. Um, and, you know, let's say you do open them. Are you going to kill more people? And that's the thing that's so fucked up about it. This is not the first time. I've mentioned this before. This shit is systematic. They are going to probably do it again. It's just this is one where it's like, oh, well, like, th these are white people. These are people who are tied, once again, to America, you know, whatever, Canada. We can't just, like, look away here. We can't just ignore it. But at the end of the day, we will. Like, we are not, we're still going to support them. Um, we're still going to send them the F-15s or whatever the fuck, you know, a lethal aid, for, you know, for their fucking ethnic cleansing. You know, we got to hit Rafa, you know, that shit still. I've noticed over the past few days, that's not as loud of a talking point right now. Um, you know, Israel's a little bit quieter on that, but I'm sure that they're still trying to get that shit in motion. You know what I mean? And it's sad. It's upsetting. And, you know, of course, we're not going to stop fucking talking about it. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, move on to the next bump. Do, 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 do. Yeah, there were British people involved, too. I should have mentioned that. I know I just kind of hopped around there, but uh, it, that shouldn't matter, right? Like, uh, God damn it. It should not fucking matter. Innocent people have been dying this whole goddamn time. Not, not even just October 7th, you know what I mean? To invoke the sacred words to make you fucking like hear it. Like, I, I hate that, that that has to be a thing. Motherfuckers have to trace that shit back to just that point. Not going all the way fucking back. You know, not talking about any of the fucking history at all. Nah, 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 nah. don't worry about that context. That's not important. <laughs> this terrorist act happened, you know what I mean? This is our 9-11. Don't forget, okay? It's, it's terrible, man. Ugh. Uh, but let's, let's move on to some more sick shit, yucky shit. Um, from NPR, a bird flu outbreak at the largest U.S. chicken egg producer could affect egg prices. Here we go again. Calamine Foods Incorporated, the largest producer of fresh eggs in the United States, has temporarily halted production of one of its facilities in Texas after detecting bird flu there, the company announced Tuesday. The company says it depopulated about 1.6 million laying hens and 337,000 pullets, or about 3.6 of its flock, as a result of the outbreak. Bird flu, also known as highly pathogenic avian influenza, or HPAI, is a highly contagious virus t uh, typically spread by wild birds that is extremely deadly to avian populations. Human infections are rare. Commercial farms sometimes euthanize part of their flock during bird flu outbreaks to limit the spread of the disease, according to the Environmental Protection Agency. I want to say a year or two ago, I think it was last year, or it might have been 2021, I'm not sure, but, like, this happened, and, like, this is when, like, everyone was talking about, oh, my God, eggs are so fucking expensive, it's crazy, um, which personally didn't affect me. I'm not an egg guy. I don't really enjoy eating eggs that much these days. But um, I, I still find that fucking annoying, especially when you get into the details of it and you you find out that it's like, OK, yeah, there was a bird flu thing like there was a, an issue. It got it got sorted. But these motherfuckers behind the scenes were like, we're going to keep the prices up so that we can keep our money up. Like we why? Why should we stop the fucking gravy train? You know what I mean? At the end of the day, we got to turn this fucking, you know, tragedy into a goddamn triumph don't we isn't that the capitalistic thing to goddamn do and sure enough they do it and then of course other companies follow suit because that's i guess price price leadership whatever the fucking economic term is that's fucking bullshit like these motherfuckers just control the racket that's what it really is like, as far as i'm concerned cow main foods is a cartel like a part of a goddamn cartel i like it's, it's crazy to me that this is just the way that it works um we just have to trust them you know what i mean they have our best interests at heart they're looking out for us they killed all those little chickens and and sure we might have to pay a little bit more but everything's gonna be okay don't worry the supply chain is strong so that's good that's a plus you're gonna get your little eggies 
but um, they may cost a little bit more. That's that's a thing. Also, another thing I wanted to mention was uh, the bird flu. Yeah. Also, the Texas Department of State Health Services announced earlier this week that a person con- contracted bird flu through an outbreak of the disease among dairy cattle. It was only the second time in the U.S. a person has uh, was confirmed to have HPAIA, also known as H5N1. Okay, all right. Um, though the cattle appear to be experiencing only mild illnesses, bird flu is a very deadly uh, to avian populations, and poultry po- producers may depopulate large groups to prevent the disease from spreading. Uh, let's see here. What else do I want to pull? Uh, from another article, or this is what, feedstuffs, Ohio has become the sixth state to report the virus in cattle. The dairy operation located in Wood County received cows on March 8th, uh, 2024, from a Texas dairy that later reported a confirmed detection of HPAI. So I I had (coughs) heard this while I was scrolling through the bird flu thing. That apparently, like, Ohio was affected in this. And I kind of figured that it was just, like, kind of fruit from the poisonous tree. And um, seems like it was that way. So, you know, um, you know, obviously a little bit concerning. You know, you got to, you know, cock your eyebrow up, Dwayne The Rock Johnson style. Like, what's going on here? What's up with those little chickadees? But, um, you know, you know me. I'm going to bitch about how capitalism is a problem. <laughs> I'm going to find a goddamn way. You know me. Um, anyway, let's go ahead and hit the next beat. Fucking Earthquake. You make my earthquake. Um, sorry. Um, from C- ABC6. All right, all right, cool. Getting a little local with it. Digital, digital. Action news. Action news. Philadelphia, PA. 4.8 magnitude earthquake hits New Jersey. Shaking felt in Philadelphia area. So, yeah, I mean, this is, a, you know, another earthquake. And, you know, I mean... And it's kind of weird, right? We covered an earthquake earlier with Taiwan this week. That was a 7.2. Um, some registers, I think it went up to like a 7.6, 7.8 maybe even. <clears throat> but um, this 4.8 happens. It's relevant. That's a that, You're going to notice that, you know, in a lot of situations. But like this made, it, it, it's just making all the rounds. So, you know, I even found a meme to, to fit the occasion. So I was like, okay, hell yeah, let's let's talk about it. A 4.8 magnitude earthquake hit Hunterdon County, New Jersey on Friday morning with shaking felt across the northeastern United States, including Philadelphia. The U.S. Geological Survey said it began at 10.23 a.m. and was centered between the towns of White House Station, Califon, and Lebanon. That area is about 60 miles northeast of Philadelphia. It happened around 10.23 a.m., startling millions of people in a region of the count of the country unaccustomed to such tremors and that's fair i remember i think it was last year um there was a, a, an, a an earthquake in ohio that like it wasn't even that big it was definitely under four and it was just like oh my god did you feel that did you feel that bro oh my god like i remember like my my local facebook was going nuts so and i didn't even know that it happened <laughs> i was like what really oh cool i guess i guess it finally happened to me but i mean earthquakes do happen and um you know i, I feel like if it's under a 5 or so like you're going to notice it in a lot of situations but maybe even you might not um i know some people didn't notice it when they were driving or they didn't notice it and they were in the subway or whatever um because it didn't just hit philadelphia it hit new jersey it hit new york i think it went to like even dc so you know even the political nerds are freaking out like oh my god um also another thing i kind of wanted to talk about too they mentioned like they kind of describe how earthquakes happen like a little bit of like bill nye science guy section and i appreciate that i respect that because i'm a fucking idiot sometimes i'm very dumb i forget how things work but i i almost subtly think that they added this section like what causes an earthquake because people were so quick to like come with a fucking conspiracy like it's just like what like really for real like like no joe biden did this actually like actually he's he's playing around with like secret like technology and like he's just doing shit okay like 
come on, dude. Like, do you just not believe? Do you not believe that earthquakes are a thing? <laughs> it literally happened a few days ago in another country. Why is it when it comes to America, it's a goddamn conspiracy? It's not a magic bullet, bro. It's just an earthquake. It's just the earth is real. Like the plates, they move, they 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 collide and they make problems. Okay, it happens. All right, it's not it's not magic. Okay, it, it, it's not. All right. Um, but yeah, so I wanted to yap about that. I felt like that was, uh, warranted. That was worthy of the Isaiah's newsstand to talk about. Um, but, oh, something I, I, I should definitely mention. I don't, I haven't heard any incident of, like, anyone getting hurt. No massive property damage. I mean, maybe I'm missing that. If you have heard, or I'd love this. I would love, I would love so much. If there's a, a, a person who has experienced this earthquake, hit up the podcast. Come, uh, Isaiah News One, gmail.com. Please, like, hit my line. Tell me, hey, I'm an earthquake survivor. I am the Reba of this situation. All right. I would love to, to talk with you, please. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and um, we're actually going to circle full way around, true detective style, because time is a flat circle. Why not, why not a podcast episode? Um, and we're going to talk about Israel again. But this time, it's about Big Macs. All right. It's more than that. All right. So let me go ahead and take my last break and we'll get into it. Also, this is a bit of an aside, but um, I've um, you know, th through my uh, Facebooking, if you will, you know, I've made a Australian friend, and um, I've um started adapting how he calls McDonald's Maccas. I think that's so fucking cute. I love that shit, dude. Um, fucking Maccas. So it, it, I don't know. It, it, it makes me smile. So I like calling them McDonald's Maccas. That's a little fun fact about me right now. But um, from Al Jazeera's, McDonald's buys all 225 of Israeli franchise restaurants after boycotts. Whew. Um, <coughs> excuse me. McDonald's has said it will buy its 30 year old is a uh, 30 year old Israel franchise from. Alanya taking back ownership of 225 outlets that employ more than 5,000 people. The U.S. fast food chain has been subject to boycotts and protests since um, Alanya announced shortly after the October 7th attack by Palestinian group Hamas that it would be donating free meals to the Israeli military. So I didn't know that it was about this specific incident. It wasn't illuminated to me. Part of the problem I kind of have with these kind of boycotts. But that being said, you can also say, well, Isaiah, you're just a dummy. You didn't do your research. You should know that. But I had thought, and how it was portrayed to me, was it was simply the fact that this boycott is we are against any company uh, like especially these shitty fast food companies that are like funding supporting israel in any kind of way you know any kind of shape form or fashion um you know so i took that as like oh okay so any kind of fi like financial support whatever okay we're doing chick-fil-a like gate again all right that's fine cool but i've said this before on the podcast i'll say it again i am not an ethical consumer i never will be I'm in a level with you guys. I've drank Black Rifle Black Rifle coffee on a dark night in Northside. I've done it, okay? That's a dark truth I will tell to you. I'm sorry. that They're not a good company, all right? That's all, that's all I've heard. But guess what? I needed a little quick coffee before I went to, like, you know, a fucking shitty dive bar, all right? I needed to do that. I needed to surge up, all right? So I guess I supported the troops or whatever. I don't know, whatever. At the end of the day, I will say that this was... A relevant thing like this this moment i feel like it is relevant to say hey this boycott did x like now this company says damn like we gotta kind of close up shop um but what is closing up shop here it's essentially saying okay mothership take these companies from us and um you know maybe when the heat dies down we will buy them back or another company like us will buy them back like okay because like i i, I don't know like 
even when this this conf like this this ends, I don't know if this is that. What is that ending gonna be? We'll see. I don't think it's gonna be, you know, a two state solution. I don't think it's definitely not gonna be a one state solution. That's a myth right now. Sadly, that's the saddest fucking thing about the conversation. If we really want to get into it, I don't right now. We're at the end of the podcast. I don't. I don't. But, um, you know, uh, you gotta you gotta mount this as a win. I, I I do I know it's a limited take, but like I do take it back to the Bud Light Kid Rock thing. Obviously, I don't support like Kid Rock and him shooting a bunch of beer cans because he hates trans people. I think that's lame. I think that's fucking weird. But he got to parade around Fox News and social media like he was the fucking hero of the story. And I love it too because you know just speaking on the Kid Rock thing, now he's cozy back up with Bud Light. You know, they've curried favor with him, and he's like, all right, I'll drop this shit. I don't really give a fuck. And, like, he's wearing Bud Light hats, and and it's so funny because he's, like, literally a paid constituent, like, for, like, the Fox News or whatever, which I found out now. These guys get, like, a stipend of, like, hundreds of thousands of dollars to be like, hey, at the drop of a Bud Light hat, if you will, will you just come on our show and, like, talk with us? Just, like, talk shit. Like, say how much you love golfing with Trump in Kid Rock situation or, like, Talk about, like, how how hard of a boner you had when you, like, shot that, like, automatic rifle at that Bud Light. How did you feel? Like, how how pitched were you? You know? And he gets paid for that. It's not free. And so now they're like, so you got that Bud Light hat on. And he's like, yeah, dude, I'm just over it, dog. Like, I don't really give a shit. I, I spanked him or whatever. It's all good. So, like, yeah, you got to win. Just like the motherfuckers who jerk off to Kid Rock got to win. You're bong with the ball here. But I... The war is still going on. The conflict is still going on. And and that, to me, makes me go, okay, well, then what do we really accomplish? Like, I am happy to say, hey, there is the organization. I didn't really notice it from, you know, Ohio. But you see in these Middle Eastern countries, no, like, for real, people were not eating McDonald's. They were not touching the fucking Big Mac. They were off of it. You know, it wasn't just heckling, you know, your local guy on Twitter. <laughs> so... It did It did do a sting. It did do a thing. But at the end of the day, is McDonald's still a company? You know? The answer is yes. They're, they're, they're still making – they're going to make an Apple McFlurry. You know that? An Apple McFlurry. That sounds terrible to me. It sounds like a nightmare. But someone's going to fucking buy it. Someone's going to fucking eat it. Shit. They might just buy two because you boycotted it. I don't know. <laughs> but, but hey, I, I will eat crow when it's time to do it. And, you know, I – this is a good example. I, I'm I'm happy to see it too. At the end of the day, I'm not like pro McDonald's to the point of like I want to see them win. No, you you shouldn't be just giving out free meals to soldiers doing the shit that they're doing. That's fucking gross. You deserve to lose business over this. So you know at the end of the day, clap that shit up. But once again, what gets my goat, I guess, is just the the infighting that happens here when you do this kind of boycott, this style of uh ethical consumption you just wind up fighting the guy to the left of you and you're just like brother brother don't you see this big mac is killing us and it's like i mean it's killing me physically but like please stop with this whole moralization of it it just doesn't work for me it just doesn't move me but hey uh you know here's an example don't say i didn't give you nothing don't say i don't say i'm not i'm wrong sometimes all right i i'm i'm happy to do it (laughs) But yeah, that's the episode. All right, good. All right, nice. We we're nice and tight, I feel like, for today. I mean, sloppy, but you know, in, in the classic Isaiah fashion. Um, if you'd like to support the effort, uh, you can become a newsie today. Uh, Isaiah News, no, uh, patreon.com, so Isaiah News. I can do this. Um, Isaiah News 1 at gmail.com. If you'd like to, you know, send an email, like I said, talk about an earthquake, talk about whatever, send me an email. I've not gotten an email yet, and that makes me sad. You know, podcasters that get emails, it's a thing. Like, it would be nice to be like fully legit and get an email from someone who listens and is like, hey, you know, here's here's some feedback. But if that's okay. If you're not, if you're not that style of millennial, if you're not, you know, that's not your vibe, okay, cool. I fuck with it. I do have social media. I'm there. Me or the podcast. Uh, podcaster myself. I don't know how you say that grammatically correctly. I ah, whatever. Um, but yeah, you go ahead and um, hit me up there. You can do that. Yap with me that way. I love that. Uh, hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. You know, on YouTube. Do that shit right now. Um, leave a comment. Uh, sharing is caring. You know, hit the stars if you're on Spotify or Apple Music or whatever you're listening to. If you're flicking your pod bean, you know, you do your thing. 
Uh, but yeah, hopefully I see you soon for some more good news. I love you. Bye-bye.